whatever experiment that you had or you've had or you've experienced, if you want to 10x it, it's not going to look the same, right? If you do what you've always done, you'll get what you always got. Who's this? Oh, you're an entrepreneur? Oh, you're a real estate investor. Oh, you're trying to learn from those who did it. Well, come into the lab then. Put your white coat on, gloves on, notepad, and let's build y'all. Experiment Nation, what is going on? Your host, Ruben Kanya here of the Real Estate Experiment Show. You guys know, you see me here in the lab. We have the coat on if you're watching on our YouTube channel or live. Um, the lab coat is out. And I only bring out the lab coat on special occasions, although I am tempted to bring it out periodically from for branding purposes. But we'll keep it at the special level right now. And the reason this is a special episode, one is shout out to StreamYard. We're uh, trying to uh, enhance our sound our quality so if you're watching this uh give me a shout uh let us know how you feel it looks if you're listening to this uh drop us a comment drop us a review uh, i should say um and let us know that you love the show why you love it and if you do like the quality of what you're hearing uh definitely let us know uh let me know slide in my dms and send me a direct message although i'm going to be trying to be doing a better job because i can see a lot of um, on Instagram, if you follow me at the Real Estate Experiment, uh, there's only one, by the way. Just make sure you have the blue check mark on there verified, uh, because there's been some spam that was happening actually this past quarter. But uh, I've noticed that some of my uh, direct messages are uh, going into spam and also going into um, like a general folder. I don't know why they have this. I, I guess they have a general primary and then request folder. So if you've never reached out to me before, it might go in the other ones. And sometimes I'm used to look at my primary, not toggling off to my general and request. So there's been sometimes some genuine people from the community have reached out and it's like a month out. And I'm like, how did I not see this? Um, and I always, make it a thing to respond and reply and, and apologize on behalf of this filter. Um, so, you know, I actually, my team manages all the, um, the content editing posts. However, I'm still the one responding to DMS. So uh, definitely reach out. And then if I miss it, uh, <laughs> I will do my best to catch up. But with that said, the reason why I got the white lap coat out, if you're watching and if you're listening, the reason why it's out for this one is I think every, I would say every year, there's always this one book that kind of changes the entire, gives you an entire paradigm shift. Um, and I think it's really important to be reading, uh, to staying on top of, uh, to stimulate your mind, to continue to um, allow yourself to learn. Uh, and more importantly, I like rewiring and unlearning old thoughts, uh, or old ways to think or old ways to operate in the lab, as we call it. And the guys, you know, if you're just tuning in, the lab is just a metaphor for your playground in real estate, it, where you are in your life, whether you're a wholesaler, whether you're a short term rentals, whether you're multifamily, whether, you know, my goal is to bring on individuals who have had successful experiments in their lab in their environment so that you can then pick one to double down on i believe that you should ex be exposed to many different experiments so you could see hey that might resonate with what i call your zone of genius your strengths where things feel effortless go there go into or, or at least take advantage of that um uh, and, and also base it on, I love, you know, Michael Alfante, my buddy said this when he came on, is like, start thinking, you know, start where you're at. I think sometimes we we, we get um, st um, stopped in our tracks because we're like, how do I get to this? But it's like, what do I have today in my lab that I can use to then get to that end goal, right? So right now we're in the short-term rental slash mid-term rental season of our lives in the lab. And I like to look at your life as seasons because... 
you know, to, to just say that this is all that I do is closing other opportunities for other things, right? Like right now we're in the midterm mental season. We might be in the season for the next five years, for the next three years. But in the next five years, I might be com- doing just only multifamily. In the next year, I might doing be doing only boutique hotels, right? So I think it's really important to understand the niches, the people who come into the lab. And based on where you're at in your journey, you know, relative to where it makes sense based on where you are financially, based on where you are professionally, based on where you are in your life, what you're looking for. My goal is to be able for you to go back to these experiments, be like, hey, now I want to tap into this season. And I know that Ruben has X amount of episodes on that. Let me double down on that. Or you might be able to course correct some of the things you're doing in your very own lab uh, because, you know, hindsight or insights that you get from uh, individuals uh, such as books or episodes allows you to make that pivotal shift and or that this is what I want to do. Let me double down on this. And the reason I say double down, I do believe that, you know, there's many niches here in a lab. And I do i have seen a trend that the people who have the most success are the ones who really stay very, very niched. And then then they go broad. So I've talked about this in an episode with uh, business builder bees and um, I believe it was like episode oof in the 80s or something like that. Uh, business Builder Bees, you know what? While I have you here, um, I'll pull it up. Um, but what I loved about that episode is we talked about a concept that I do agree with. I, I do believe that, uh, and I'll have it for you guys to hear. It's episode, wow, episode 131. Uh, business builder bees uh, building multiple vertical vertically integrated businesses but one of the things we talked about is i believe like experiments are like an hourglass first you go broad to get exposed to if you're watching this i'm kind of going wide on my screen an hourglass is like you got to go broad first to understand all the the um, different real estate business models that exist and then you go super niche once you understand the one that you want to pick and double down on then you go super niche so you get very narrow and you go deep and then once you've gotten results like like top top line top percentile results like you've really mastered it you have the opportunity no not the requirement you don't have to but you have the opportunity to then go wide and for lack of a better word diversify your experiments, right? You can have enough capital to deploy it into some storage units if you want to try multifamily. Diversify it in a way that makes sense for your lifestyle, for your in your lab. Um, and the reason I say you have the opportunity is because, you know, I, I do believe going back to, you know, we talk a lot about finance, we talk about a lot of money in, in the lab, and it's like, you know, that diversification really works when you have money, I believe, right? Like when you're talking about, ETFs, mutual funds, and like index funds and all that stuff. Yeah, if you got like 10 million, that stuff's going to give you an 8% return on that. Whoo, right? But when you have 800 bucks or $8,000, that money, again, not to get, again, this is just a thought, uh, could be used based on where you're at in your journey, right? So we've talked about this. We've seen individuals come in and talk about like rental arbitrage might make sense for you where you're at. If you don't have like sixty to eighty thousand dollars on a down payment, plus the furnishing, plus the design, you know that could stop a lot of people and be like, "I don't have a hundred k, therefore I can I cannot start this short term rental slash mid term rental journey." But that could be, that would be false. What you need to think about is, you know, what do I have now that I could utilize as a stepping stone to get to where I want to get to, right? And so. I think it's a perfect segue because the reason where I'm recording this is I truly believe that the lab uh, uh, in your lab, there's always this one book that, you know, uh, transforms your thinking. You know, I have one here, Traction. Uh, that's by Gina Wickman. That's a good one. I honestly don't think I've even finished it. I think I, I, I read books like consulting, right? So I consult a few chapters that resonate with me, but a great book. That's all you should read, honestly this whole idea of reading end to end isn't always even like goes back to 20% the period of principle what's the 20% that's going to change the entire part of the book uh, uh, your entire paradigm shift and the 80% might just be fluff most of these books anyways um i have here one of the classics uh the millionaire fast lane that's my favorite book still to this day um 
by MJ DeMarco. He is like the entrepreneur god. Uh, reason I say that is uh, this is my, uh, crack the code to wealth and live rich for a lifetime. There's a principle in there of sense, control, entry, need, time, and scale. Those are that's an acronym, sense. And I think that just rewired the way I think about business. Um, and I have I just pulled up all his specials here: The Great Rat Race, Escape, Unscripted. Uh, those are all classics, but they all kind of stem from the Millionaire Fast Lane. Then, obviously, I have the four-hour work week here. I don't have all my books. I just grabbed these from the shelf this morning. Um, the four-hour work week with Tim Ferriss is a big one. You know, today I have, what, 17 VAs. After this call, I'm just meeting one, a new virtual assistant. It's all about getting your time back. She's gonna, actually going to be a new executive assistant here and we always do, you know, trials and stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah, that's been able to give us – give me a lot of my time back and or help me create like my agency and make the mental business and you know all the other uh, social media company that we have all that stuff uh 10 pillars of wealth i remember this I don't know if, not too many people know alex becker but that was a big one for us during our phase um and then um so recently well there was there was two things so if you guys i don't know if you know uh, dr uh, benjamin uh, hardy and um him and Dan Sullivan um, in the last quarter or last year, uh, end of, I think it was beginning, yeah, end of last quarter, there was a book that came out called Who Not How, and then there was The Gap in the Game, right? And those are, and the reason I'm bucketing these together is because I start evolving with these people. It's kind of like I read, I read The Gap in the Game by Dr. Benjamin Hardy and Dan Sullivan. I was blown away. And part of it, the reason why I love listening to the Audible is because they have interviews and Q&As that talk about the concepts from the previous chapter, which I love that concept so much. It's so cool. It's so immersive. I feel like I'm there with them talking, chatting. So shout out to, to them for that. But amazing book. Then Who Not How, which you've heard. I truly believe that a lot of the way I think in the lab is if I don't know, right, I'm not thinking of like, how can I? I'm always thinking about the who, right? So who is the person that will have an answer or who is the who that could find the right who or who is the who that I can ask that will help me find the right who? Like, it's always who. It's never how. Like, I'm always thinking that first in anything that I'm doing, consulting, real estate. I'm always thinking like, who can solve this problem right now? Or who can find me the who to be able to find the right who? Like, that's crazy, but it's it's a game changer. And that's a whole paradigm shift. It's like unlearning. A lot of us turn like, hey, you know, we kind of grew up in the in, in the in the culture of like independence and and, you know, oh, I, I you don't I don't want to collaborate, you know, or I got to buy these properties by myself. Like, no, it's who can help me, who has who has the money, who has the resources, who can make this work? Here's where I'm at. Who can make this work with what I have, right? Call that who. Get on the phone with the who. Those are going to be the people that help you get to your dreams. Who can help me get to my dream the fastest? Who is that person? Invest in the who. Hire the who. Ask your who to call the other who. Always who. So that book is huge. Who, not how. Game changer. Now, there's been a recent game changer, and it kind of comes full circle. Uh, because, you know, some of you guys may have gone to like, you probably heard of Grant Cardone, 10X Growth Con, his whole 10X movement. And I've, I've attended, right? Uh, the 10X Growth Con, uh, I've thought, I've been in Grant Cardone's funnel. I think he does a phenomenal job. I mean, he's gone from a billion to 4 billion. Um, you know, not everybody likes him. Not everybody likes his style, but the, the, the man brings results and, and I've gotten a chance to meet him. Um, and, you know, he talked a lot about 10x, like people are dreaming big enough, etc. But sometimes you get the message and it makes sense, like when you hear it. But then when you dive a little bit deeper and you like start to, uh, you know, depending on where you're at in your season, in your journey, I think some messages digest, you digest them a little bit differently. All right. And and that's why I actually like the idea of revisiting some of these books that have principles, because depending on where you're at in your state, um, you might be you might use the information differently or you might pick up on things that you didn't pick up last time based on where you're at in your journey. And based on where I'm at in my journey, one of the books that I think is the book of the year at this time, you know, it's May 29 is 10x is easier easier than 
two X um, by uh, Doctor uh, Benjamin Hardy and Den Sullivan again. Again, if you're watching, I have it here on Audible. I would really recommend getting the Audible because um, there's that interview style format where Dan Sullivan and Dr. Benjamin Hardy talk about these concepts that are just incredible. And one of the key takeaways that I want to share with you guys, I'm going to go through my notes because I always take notes when I'm listening to this. Um, But it's that I think the main key takeaway here is that a lot of us, when we hear 10x, we think 2x, right? And what we're doing is we're thinking linearly, right? Based on where we are today, how can I get more results by doing what I'm already doing, right? Like literally, oh, like can I 2x it? It's very linear thinking. That's what we're used to. But one of the key takeaways from the book is that whatever you think that 10x is, one way to get there is to make the goal so you you would almost want to use the word unrealistic that it will force you to think differently on get and how to get there right and going back to the how it's not so much how but it's also thinking who needs to be involved right so if there's a goal out there that you have and this is where I'm currently at right You have to ask yourself, what would need to be true in order for me to add, again, I think things that are quantifiable are helpful. So say you're getting 10 uh, 10 clients a month. What if you added two more zeros behind that and it was a thousand? Or if it was one property a quarter, what would it take to add another to get 10 properties a quarter? Like what would have to be true? And what I also loved about the book is it talks about how when you when you start to 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 think 10x like legit 10x not 2x cuz most of us thinking 10x oh i doubled my business that's a 2x move right um doubling your business is a 2x move which is kind of crazy cuz you get high praise for that but 10x in your business it's not going to be there's two things that i that was the main key takeaways there's few steps there's less clutter to getting to a 10x move, then there is a 2x move. Because 2x move, there's a lot of different ways you can get to a 2x move. Experiment Nation, I have a special gift for you. If you're in the Airbnb space or if you're thinking of getting into the Airbnb space, you're an operator with multiple units, your first unit, your hundredth unit, just about to get into Airbnb, you are going to want to get this blueprint that I put together for you now i want to give context of how this was put together because sometimes people assemble these uh ideas and top 10 lists top five top this and it doesn't have any true valued vetted content what i've done is i've surrounded myself by the best top short-term rental airbnb operators in the world i co-authored a best-selling book with them called hospitable host i've had them on my platform and interviewed them to get the questions that you guys want to learn the most from into the episode to show the real estate experiment as you know and i've also paid tens and thousands of dollars to be sitting in the room to get these notable insights that we implement ourselves as short-term rental operators i'm a short-term rental specialist i'm licensed to do it in their respective markets you know we build ours in georgia we have a management company ourselves we're airbnb super hosts so we not only talk the talk but we walk the walk but we still consistently surround ourselves with the best in the space to get us further ahead and this is what we've put together an airbnb millionaire blueprint where you don't just hear it from me you hear it and it's an aggregate list it's 21 pillars from short-term rental operators worldwide who've implemented this and it's worked and this is the exact same way we've been able to get results and get the same results from implementing these insights that i've pulled from multiple faces right some people have tons of arbitrage units like tj tajani some like bill faith have just a few some like michael shogan has boutique hotels they've scaled and whether you have one unit 10 units or 100 unit or about to get into your first unit you're going to want to have this blueprint that you can utilize you Universally, wherever you are in the world, 
want to get this i put together we took a lot of time to put this together this year after all that we've been implementing in our lab for you to have a guide that you can leverage right that you can use and, and, and implement we've also given and tagged everybody that we've featured in and giving them credit so you know where the source is coming from and you can check out their instagram you can see that there are vetted individuals that we not only work with and trust but learn from because sometimes you get a lot of different information and i want to make sure i give that credit where you can find out that person and we've also if they've been on our show we've also linked the episode within this free blueprint it's the airbnb millionaire blueprint you want to make sure you go to experiment realestate.com once you get there you'll see the pop-up that says i have something for you just scroll down enter your name enter your email and we'll get it right sent to you don't want to sleep on this we've been putting these together for quite some time and i know that it will serve you regardless of where you are in your journey to have an airbnb millionaire blueprint that has been collectively vetted and has been sourced from operators who are operating at a high scale experimentation you're welcome make sure to go to experimentrealestate.com and get your airbnb millionaire blueprint so that you can also scale to the level of experiment that these practitioners like ourselves have done just for you experimentation we'll see you on the other side but 10x move removes a lot of the different ways you can get there because there's the answer will be pretty pretty much in front of you. Like what would need to be true in order for you to get 10x the amount of short-term rentals that you got last year? One like if you're thinking I gotta use my own money, then unless if you got some extreme like raise or some extreme 10x somewhere else in another avenue and vertical, that would be the only way to make that true. Once you start thinking, how can I 10x the amount of properties I buy, especially if you're using personal financing, etc., there's really only a few more options. It's like either you're going to use other people's money or you're going to find a model, right? Maybe it's, think for short-term rentals, it's rental arbitrage. It's like, okay, like, uh, maybe putting down $60,000 every month is unrealistic right now. So how do I get there? Well, what would need to be true? You would have to have X amount of cash flow being generated per month. How do I get there? Well, with what I have, again, you start with where you're at. I would need to arbitrage, let's say, five properties that would all net around 5 k uh, a month or the real number is I would need to get 10 properties. Okay. So how do, how does getting your next one look like and how many can you get per month? And what would need to be true in order for you to get, be able to get like five this next quarter and then 10 the next quarter and then 20 the next, like what would need to be true? And then you start thinking, Oh, well I would need to be able to get in front of as many um, companies or corporations, or even maybe it's co-hosting. These are X amount of people I would need to get in front of. Okay. What well, would need to be true to get in front of this many people? Well, I would probably need a meetup to be able to, okay, Creel, what well, would need to be true in order for you to have the meetup? I would need to probably a co-host. Okay. What well, would need to be true in order for this co-host? I would need to be able to reach out to somebody, right? Or I would need to call the who, or I would need to call this person. Now we start, and then it gets very simple, right? When you go through that exercise and you know, my intention was to go through all the notes that I took, but I think <laughs> it's so lengthy that I want to, I want to give you the 20%, right? The 20% of this book is, 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 are those two thoughts, right? Um, for example, here's a quote. What is your 20% that if you went all in on, you'd be 10 X more valuable and impactful in your lab. So you can think about where you're getting the most results today, Right. Like I can tell you one thing is like when we're getting a lot of when I every time I send an email to one of these uh, one of the largest uh, relocation companies in the nation, they respond with a potential family that we can place to us. That's a huge deal in the mental mental space. So does that mean all the other activities that I'm doing are not important? Yeah, it actually probably means that that this is probably the sole activity you should be focused on. And if it meant, hey, you need to send a campaign out every day, what would need to be true? I would need to have to build a large list. Okay, great. In order for me to build a large list, what would have to be true? Well, I would have to curate and 
put together a list. Well, what would have to be true for me to do that? Because I don't have the time to do that. I would need to hire an executive assistant. Okay, great. Solely de- dependent on doing that. Okay, great. Or literally on about to get on the next call with her. And what also would need to be true? You would need to have a autoresponder that would allow you to be able to message a more than uh, one person at a time. Okay, great. Well, we set that up yesterday. So what also would need to be true, right? And we're, we're, we're applying this. I think if you start asking yourself what would need to be true in order to get to this kind of big, I think, BHAG, big, hairy ass goal, right? I think that's what the Bigger Pockets community uses or Brandon Turner, I think, might have coined that term. Big, hairy ass goal. Then it allows you to start reverse engineering into this one soul path that is very obvious. But most of us are not thinking 10x. We're thinking 2x, which, by the way, if you want to think 2x, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you know you want to get to 10x, then there is something wrong with that because you can't think 2x and get 10x results. You have to rewire your brain into thinking 10x. And now when you start thinking 10x, you start looking at every opportunity that should align with your 10x goal and your 10x vision. You start thinking of how do I look at everything in a 10, 10x framework, 10x mindset, right? And then how do you start trimming the fat, removing the 80% that's not contributing to that 10x? So this morning, I even made a list of my 2x activities versus my 2x, my 10x activities. And again, some 2x activities need to get done. I mean, all, they are important, but you just need to start being very mindful of what is a 2x activity and what is a 10x activity? And I don't think it's actually as that complicated. I think if you're honest with yourself, you'll probably know. And there'll probably be some resistance because that's what the brain does. It wants to keep you safe, aligned. 10x is scary. It's something we've never done before, which is another key takeaway. 10x will not look like what you're doing right now. So when I think about that, this is like a note to self, guys. Like I'm like, totally speaking to myself here to help it's almost like a therapy session therapeutically and i'm just sharing this with the experiment nation that whatever experiment that you had or you've had or you've experienced if you want to 10x it it's not going to look the same right if you do what you've always done you'll get what you always got and most of us are doing what we've always done because we're comfortable it's comfortable to do that Right. So I'm going to ask you, because I'm doing it right now, what is the conversation, the uncomfortable zone that I need to go into in order to be very, very fulfilled and comfortable in the 10x results that I will be able to get? Goes back to one of the quotes that I love. It's not about you. It's about who loses if you don't win. A lot of us, if you, well, you know, if you're listening to the show, you're probably wired the exact same way most of us are as a listener. And it's, it's the vision is bigger than you. So you have to start thinking is how is my 2X thinking or my 2X framework limiting me from helping or making those around me? benefit from my 10x results because if you ask that question now it's bigger than you and if you're anything like me and you like taking ownership and you like uh being the leader that will you know be the person that changes the entire trajectory of your whether it's your uh, family tree or whether it's financially whether it's emotionally or whatever it is that you're trying to do more of for a specific reason that drives you and that wakes you up every single morning, then think about how important that question is to ask yourself and then go through that thought process and stop operating in a linear thinking and start thinking exponential. I mean, there's a lot here, guys. I would love to do a second session, but if you tap in and start listening to this book, Please like send me a screenshot, tag me uh, on Instagram. That's where I'm the most active. But I think this is world class uh, game changer about everything. And I have quotes for days on this stuff. Um, might give you a little bonus before we close this out. But um, let's see here. 
Yeah. And, oh, that's another good one here. So quality over quantity, right? Think exponentially, not linearly, right? Focus on 20%, build a team around you to handle everything else so you can focus on quality. I think that's another thing too, right? Um, I think I saw TJ to Johnny, you know, he was an episode. Uh, oh, that's going to be a nice fun game to try to start memorizing the episode that uh, my people read on. Episode 174, TJ to Johnny actually uses um, mental arbitrage to help grow his portfolio. And a lot of us, you know, came from before I was into the short term slash midterm mental space. It was very about, you know, kind of this mindset of results was always the amount of doors people had. And then that quickly shifted when I got into the space because I realized it's quality over quantity. Um, you know, and I say that. Um, how do I say that? Um, being in this midterm rental insurance space is, you know, with one home, you can net 5K a month. And if you know anything about long-term investors, if you do the math on that, if, if someone is cash flowing, let's say 400 per door, 5,000 a month net to take home would be the equivalent of 12 doors. Now, if you want to get conservative and say 5K net divided by 300 bucks a door, that's 16 doors. And to me, it's like, okay, do I want to optimize for quantity or quality? Now, if you ask me, it's quality all day. All right. This is the this is the season I'm on right now. That could change later on where I'm like, you know what? Let's get more doors, more scale. You know, again, there's a lot of things with banks, you know, assets being able to say, hey, this is worth this much. There's equity in this much. I want to refinance, et cetera. But I'm in the season of cash flow right now. And so when I think about that, it's your, your thinking might be, oh, I need to get X amount of doors. But if you were to 10x the amount of cash flow that you made with less doors, that's a 10x move, right? And so I think we need to focus on not so much volume, but sometimes, not sometimes, often, it's quality. 10x is a quality move. It's, it's, it's getting rid of those 80% of those clients who are just giving you a headache and holding on to the 20% and then tapping into their networks, you get more of their referral, right? It's about, you know, and the reason I brought up TJ to Johnny is because I saw a post the other day and I was blown away. I'm like, yo, God, golly, where does this end? He said he met a gentleman that had like 16, 18 bedroom homes that was making 40K a week per property. And I'm just like, what like hold on bro hold on like a month still crazy a week bananas and it just puts things into perspective like okay so quality i can tell you right now those 18 door 18 16 bedroom homes are top notch and I'm not saying, again, start where you're at. If that's where you want to get to, you'll get there. But there's quality out there. That's a 10x move. Even if you just got that one for the year, that is a 10x move all day long. So I talked about some gems. I would encourage you to find that book that's going to transform your thinking. Uh, I'm looking at a 10x in a whole different way. Uh, I'm 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 literally doing a a clean out in a in the lab right now. I'm like, okay, what needs to be eliminated? And um, we're going deep, and 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 from the companies of how we operate to the asset types that we're getting to the overall strategy, it needs to look different than what you're out here. Now I will say this: I want to leave you with something positive because sometimes. We're overachievers and we don't get a chance to appreciate 
kind of how far we come. And I, I did this exercise the other day because I think you can look at your peers. Like right now, you know, based on what we're doing in the lab, you look at someone like the guy that TJ said, and you hear $40,000 a week and it just depletes you. And it makes you think like, damn, like I'm not doing anything. But that's the wrong mindset. And that's why I really recommend listening to the gap in the game. Um, and by the way, like this is all what I'm like, I don't have any affiliate links. I guess we could search for them, but that's not the point of this. The point is like, this is, this is, I'm, I'm sharing you with you the insights I'm getting my journey and the reason why the gap in the game, that book, but again, um, Dr. Benjamin Hardy, uh, um, Hardy and, um, and uh, Dan Sullivan again is because, you know, operating in the gap is operating in like, oh, wow, like here's what I don't have and here's where I'm not at yet and here's where I want to get to, which a lot of us operate in that gap. And it's easy to with the you know social media, with your peers, even if you're you're if you're surrounding yourself like the folks I surround myself with, I'm just like constantly like, golly, like, really? I thought I was doing something. I mean, that's the kind of rooms that I'm in. Everything is uncomfortable. Like, well, did you just say that that was your best day? I haven't made that this quarter. But the reason why you do not want to operate in the gap, because you're comparing yourself to yourself when you're operating the gain. And what you do, you do an exercise. And I'll share this with you guys just to kind of leave you with uh you know, 10x can be like, wow, look, this guy's doing 10x and I'm not doing anything. But you really also want to give yourself an audit of like where you're at. Measure gains periodically to get yourself into the gain mindset every day for all different time frames. I'll give you guys a few, but you definitely want to pick up the book. Listen to the audible. And ask yourself these questions. I'm leaving you on a positive note. One. How have you grown as a person within the past three years? State those. Two, what are the biggest things you've learned in the past 12 months? State those. Make a list. Three, what are 10 important things you've accomplished in the past 12 months? Again, gain mindset. Number five, how are you clear on your vision and your goals than you were 90 days ago? Maybe it's an insight just as the one I've just planted today, hopefully. Right? That could count. Six, in what ways is your life better than it was 30 days ago? Look out for it. A lot of us are operating in the gap. I'm like, this is where I want to get to. Well, what about the good that came? Right? Like, how are things getting better? What important progress have you made in the last seven days? That was number seven. Number eight. What key progress have you made in the past 24 hours? No matter where you're at in your 10x journey, you're making more gains than you realize. So measure it. Experiment nation, measure your gains. Make sure that you're very conscious of whether they're 2x versus 10x. And ask yourself the question, what would need to be true in my lab to get to 10x? On that note, Experiment Nation, I'm out. But make sure that you tune into the experiments that we're doing. Drop us a review if you're getting any sort of value. Uh, please go to the podcast application. That's how more people can discover this podcast. And that's what I'm really passionate about, uh, having a voice and having an impact and being able to network with individuals that change my mindset and that will change yours as well, uh, foster key strategic relationships to help us all elevate. There's so much. There's an, I have an abundant state of mind, and so do um, all the guests that come on here. And so if you're getting value, please, um, Hit the like button if you're on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button if you're on YouTube. If you're on the podcast app, um, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave us a review. Please leave us a review. And Spotify, same thing. Any platform that you're on, we go all over every Monday. <clears throat> make sure you tap in. And then you guys know that I am offering. There's two things. If you go on Instagram, you follow me on The Real Estate Experiment. If you do need help, I do make myself available. I do have consulting links. A lot of people sometimes DM, etc. cetera, uh, but a lot of also people book uh, calls if you want to analyze an S or an MTR deal and you're like, you know, not sure, you can book a call there, a uh, paid consult call, uh, you know, uh, got to be valuable for, for your time. And, you know, when you pay, you pay attention. And I would say I've, I've saved a lot of people 
a lot of money they're going to put down by helping them with analyzing. A lot of people are not analyzing deals the right way. So make sure you book that. Then if you're looking, especially if you're in Georgia and you're looking to uh, tap into the resources of what my teams um, have to offer from cleaners to management to technology to design to furniture, um, book, book a discovery call so you can see if you qualify to be in my um, my do it done with you program uh, where I'll help you find the right deal here in Georgia. If you're looking out of state, I'm also um, I have a large uh, EXP realty network of folks. So don't be shy to reach out there. I'll refer you to one of my partners across the nation. Uh, and then we can help you on the coaching side anywhere around the world from furniture design to finding the right uh, resources locally. If you're in Georgia, you got a special perk because you get to tap into our resources that we're using here. But nonetheless, the high ticket program helps you uh, launch successfully. Um, and we've helped multiple students be able to launch their SDRs and MTRs. And now we're doing a hybrid. So if you're interested in that, shoot me a DM or go to uh, our experimentrealestate.com, book a consult call there. Uh, and then it'll lead you to seeing if you qualify. And the reason I say that, uh, see if you qualify with high ticket program, I'm very selective of that because it's very close. You get to work with me directly and my team. Um, so it's, you know, I can't just, I want to be very, I want to make sure it's a good fit, like a hundred percent. Um, so that's, that's why I say that if you qualify, we'll see if it's a good fit. I like to work with people who like to work and, um, and who like to get results, 10X mindset. Uh, that's that's the environment that I've kind of built. So make sure you go to experimentrealestate.com, book a consult call, and uh, we'll see if you qualify. If not, continue to follow me on the Real Estate Experiment. Drop all the reviews, love. If you get this book, please tag in your story. I'll say, Ruben, I got it. I would love to see that. That's what it's all about. And just like that, Experiment Nation, we are out. Experiment Nation, your host, Ruben Kanye here. Listen, if you're looking for a who in your next steps as a short-term rental host or Airbnb host or operator, that is, definitely make sure that you reach out to me directly by booking a call to see how you can get yourself to the next level. If, if you've never turned a house and repurposed it into a short-term rental or Airbnb. If you don't know what pricing tools to use, how to set up your listing so that's best optimized, how to set up a PMS software, let alone if you don't know what a PMS software is and why it's important to, again, having dynamic pricing as a tool to stay ahead of your competition, to always be booked and not only be able to pay your mortgage, but cash flow some and always, always Make sure that you're uh, giving your guests an experience that will have multiple other guests want to stay at your property. How to automate reviews, how to automate um, checkout, check-in details to messages for the guests and so that you are no longer working in the business, but you're working on the business. How to build a virtual cleaning team. All of the above, make sure that you go to experimentrealestate.com forward slash hospitable dash host where you can book a call to see if you're a good fit for the coaching program that I am offering only to limited partners. If you're a part of Experiment Nation, if you're new to Experiment Nation, well, it's all about having the right individuals help you guide, guide you through the next steps of where you're trying to go in your experiments. So if you're looking for guidance, if you're seeking out guidance, someone to help you. I am rolling out a new coaching program that is very hands-on. Therefore, there's a lot, there's only limited spots available where you will work with me directly and I will help you take your short-term rental to or your long-term rental into a short-term rental if you've never been a host before or help you get to the next level. So make sure you go to experimentrealestate.com forward slash hospitable dash hosts so that you can take your experiments in the short term rental space to the next level with a guide and someone who's been there before. 
Again, I look forward to seeing you on the call. Make sure you book a discovery call. We'll see if we're a good fit for one another. And again, be sure if you're driving, if you're currently not available to take the URL down, it will be in the bio description. Looking forward to seeing you on the other side and continue to experiment wisely. Happy hosting.